Hi guys, welcome back to another try-on. I'm really excited for this video. Again, it's gonna be more of like a collective try-on. I have not been like purchasing new items. I've just almost been like catching you guys up on what you've missed. I have gotten sent a lot of these items even months ago. So again, I'm really trying to get back on my YouTube grind. I have missed it. I just enjoy editing. I enjoy talking with you guys. So here I am again. Like I said, I have a little bit of everything. Some of these items were sent to me. Some of them I purchased. And then some of them are also thrift finds. I really enjoy thrifting simply for the fact that like you never know what you can find. I do enjoy some like older timeless pieces as well. I'm always on the hunt for pants. That's something I don't know why I'm just always looking for. I have yet to find a really good pair of jeans or pants or actually that's a lie. I have a few really nice pairs but again I'm always like up to try Goodwill or Savers because you know five dollars for a pair of pants. What can go wrong? But anyway <laughs> if you guys enjoy try-ons make sure you give today's video a big thumbs up and you share it with your friends so I know to continue to make more. Make sure you comment down below what your favorite item was and let's just get right into it. So I'm actually going to start off with what I'm wearing right now. So these pants, these jeans, I actually just got like four hours ago in the mail. They're from Fashion Nova. I like them. I would rate them like a seven and a half or eight out of ten. So they were marketed as low rise and to me this isn't low rise. Like this is my belly button. I have like half an inch before the jean hits. This is not low rise but I feel like I run into this issue so much that I I might be the problem here because I don't know maybe I just have a long short torso with me short torso and I have obviously very long legs I'm six foot so I have around like a 35 to 36 inch inseam now these are 34 inches and I have them rolled up because they are floods on me I was really hoping they might work but I never get my hopes up too much when it's just regular I try to go for like tall or long but they did not have this style on Fashion Nova in a long so I wanted to give it a go honestly I don't hate them though like I feel like it's pretty cute and like kind of fall autumn-esque for a little capri which i like the only thing is they marketed them as well as not very stretchy at all so i got a size 13 in them which i'm usually an 11 for fashion nova but because i saw i'm like okay they're not stretchy at all like okay i need to really like make sure that they fit and they're pretty stretchy so i have this gap in the back which is a bummer i always run into this but i was hoping i wouldn't because i thought like stretchy less stretchy is more of a thick material so more form fitting but either way they don't fit terribly and i feel like when i wash these they'll be fine but they are very flattering so they're more like a low rise on the back if anything i find that to be very pretty it's not very pretty just more flattering when it's a bit lower cut on my back it just makes my torso look longer overall i like this and then the top this tank top is like years old but it's also from fashion nova i literally just recently found it as i was cleaning out my closet ew but yeah i like a good green tank top it's very cute it's rather thin but it does the job now these on the other hand these are from fashion nova as well and when i tell you they fit me like a glove and they are long enough. It is going to be a sad day for me when something happens to these because these are my favorite jeans. I wear them way too much, but guys, they are so very flattering. Like obviously in the front, they're very flattering. In the back, they're even more flattering. Like look at that. Very, very nice. I shouldn't have just ate. Like I literally had lunch like 10 minutes ago, but feeling a little bloated. But <laughs> if you guys can't tell, it's more of a V cut. It's a little bit different. So it kind of gives that low mid rise look, but it's very flattering because this comes up right to the hips and this goes down much lower. So it gives you that natural V shape, even if you don't have it. I literally love these. I need to look these up. I'll hopefully put the name on the screen of what they are. Oh my gosh, they're so good. And again, they come in talls. They are covering my foot. They are amazing. You need these jeans. They are my absolute favorite. This is in a size 11. So when I first ordered these, I ordered them in a size 13. They fit obviously, but they were just a little bit too baggy. Like throughout the night, they'd be almost like falling down and I'd like catch myself hiking them up. The 11 fits like a glove, you guys. Like I am not kidding. These are so insane. These are my favorite pair of jeans ever. Now these pants are typically what happens to me when I go to Goodwill. My Goodwill does not have try on rooms anymore. Dressing rooms, I should say. Ever since the pandemic, they just do not have them. I wish they would bring them back because how can I try on pants? No idea. I just buy them and wish for the best. Obviously I hold them up and I'm like, oh, these, these look like they fit, but in 10 out of 10, they don't fit. But honestly, these aren't terrible. Bottom is a little odd on me. It's just like, a, it's a true, like just straight leg, not like a boot cut flare or anything, just straight kind of wide. I would like this if it was just a little bit looser on the thigh so like the looseness was kind of in uniform. Uh, they honestly fit my waist though very nicely. They're pretty good. I think I would just have to like, I don't know, alter them a little bit or <laughs> figure out what to wear that would be like, it's definitely giving like Frenchy, granola mom, like casual khaki type thing obviously, but I like that. Um, again, they fit very nice. It does have the belt buckles, so if you wanted to wear a belt, you could. 
why not? But I like them and I don't. Honestly, like a seven out of 10. This is typically what happens to me when I go to Goodwill or Savers for pants. One in every 10 is a really nice fit, but yeah. <laughs> okay, next up, there's only one place this set could be from and that is Outcast Clothing. I'm obviously wearing little protectors for a reason. So like I said, it's very showy. It's very flattering. It's very revealing, but guys, on a night out, how insane would this outfit be? So again, this is from Outcast Clothing. They sent me quite a lot of items and I absolutely adore them for it. Both of these are in a large. I should have probably just sized up, you know, because again, how revealing it is. These pants are more of a lace and then they have the leather belt buckle detail. I like them a lot. I typically do get an extra large when I shop from Outcast, but they told me they only had a large left. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe I could make it work. And I did make it work, thankfully, but I like it a lot, you guys. Again, this is so very flattering, but like also so very revealing. Like I have no idea when I'm gonna wear it. I was thinking I might wear it for my birthday, but you know, that's a month past and I already wore something else from them. It was this insane jumpsuit, my little favorite thing ever. Dear Lord, this is a lot. <laughs> okay, but this is the back. It does just have like a little zipper. So instead of just like pulling it up and hoping for the best, I like that the zipper detail kind of holds it all together. It also does have a zipper on the side. Now this clasp right here does not come apart. So thank goodness they have a zipper on the side because it would be really hard just to like get it over you. But again, like I said, zipper on the side, this zips up obviously, and then these belt buckles also buckle. Okay, so again, this outfit is absolutely insane. It is, like I said, like a floral lace detail, but it's like double lined, so it's rather thick and not too see-through at all. Obviously, you want to wear the correct garments underneath, but like I said, this might be the best outfit of today's try-on. Like how insane is this? Very flattering. And okay, little happy moment for me when I first got these. I was not able to wear the bottoms. They just simply did not fit. I wasn't able to zip them up. So yeah, and I've been working out pretty consistently now, so they fit. I wasn't sure if they would, but this is like the first time I've tried them on in a few months. So go me. Next up, we have this gorgeous House of CB dress. It is in this just very stunning lilac purple. It does have built-in cups, which I do like. They're just a little bit, they're sitting just a little bit high on me. It's meant to be thin. So it's almost meant to be like kind of half like see-through sheer. I bet this watch just doesn't do it any justice. But overall, this is a very stunning dress. It fits me very nice as well. And it is full length. So it is touching the ground on me. Again, I'm six foot. It's a big ask, but it's doing it. It's a corset back. So obviously it's just me here. I'm not able to fully tighten it, but it's a corset back. And then right below it is like a five inch zipper. And like I said, it's a bit sheer, but it has like this floral decals on it almost like a rose, just obviously still in that lilac purple stitch. Very stunning. Fits very nicely. The straps are also adjustable. They did send me two more dresses as well. And I think I want to say I shared those in a separate video, but if you guys want to see them, let me know. They are absolutely stunning as well. They're on my Instagram actually, but I love this. And if you can kind of see here, it's like this seam that kind of goes down. I think it's supposed to be a little bit tighter, but there's just this seam right here that gives it that V shape. Again, just kind of elongates the torso, narrows the hips. I think it is so very flattering, you guys. House of CB has some very stunning high quality dresses. They are obviously more on the expensive, higher end scale. But again, if you have a very nice event coming up, I would highly recommend them. They are absolutely stunning. I love this color a lot. They sent me, like I said, two other dresses and they are also very muted colors. One is a soft sage green and the other is a very light pastel pink. This was from their line this past winter. So again, it's been a while. I haven't really showed you guys. I haven't kept you up to date, but I do really love this one. Obviously saving the best for last. This swimsuit is from Fashion Nova. Again, I don't even remember when I got this. This is so long ago. It was still in the bag right over there, um, but it's kind of giving like Bond girl. I love this. Like these little rings around it. The ring detail I find very cute. Very simple, of course, which I like in a swimsuit. I never really reach for white because obvious reasons. I find it to be very thin sometimes, especially when it gets wet. Like that is very tricky. Now this one I am uncertain about. Obviously, like I said, I haven't worn this one yet. So I don't know what it's like when it's wet, but I think it's a very cute swimsuit nonetheless. Very simple. Straps are adjustable, of course, and the bottom is a string bottom. So again, you can just tighten it on the sides. I do like how much coverage you get with this triangle top as well. I think that is very nice. Now for structure, you really don't have any structure whatsoever. Like it's, it's not like holding anything up. It's just kind of holding it in, if you know what I mean. Again though, I find it very cute. I never reach for a white swimsuit. If you haven't seen that vlog already, I went through all of my swimsuits and got rid of like 50. So now I wanted to just hold on to like some basic stuff. Obviously some cute higher end swimsuits, but I just wanted 
wanted to really hone in on the basic black, white, simple colorways. Overall, I like it a lot. I would have to rate it like a seven and a half, eight. Sometimes with these string bottoms, I just don't love how the bottoms are like adjustable as is. Kind of gives you like a little bit of a diaper butt sometimes. It is obviously very cheeky on the back side. So sometimes for these, you can adjust them to make them a little bit wider, but this is about as far as it goes. It shows quite a bit. Other than that, like yeah, seven and a half, eight, nothing like crazy, but it's a decent swimsuit for the price. I want to say this was like 12 or 13 dollars, which is definitely a nice price. Obviously not compared to like half of that at Shein, but you know what I'm saying. Speaking of Shein, we have a very unique one here. This is more of a maroon burgundy color. It is a bandeau and the bottoms are rather high-waisted, which I do like. The only thing I don't like is that the heavy seams right here just kind of cinch my waist and accentuate any little like fat I have. So it kind of just squeezes it. I definitely prefer like the seamless swimsuits compared to the ones with seams, obviously. But nonetheless, it's different. It's unique. It's not something I would typically buy. And I want to say Shein actually sent me these. Of course, I have deodorant stains on it already, which is amazing. But I do like how full coverage this bandeau is. It like, it's, there's even more room to kind of pull it up. But one thing I don't like too is that there's like a white detail here. I wish this maroon burgundy color went all the way around. I just find it more flattering. It just gives more high quality. Because like, you know, when you get out of the swimming pool and you just see white with like a high contrast of the burgundy, it's like, eh, that looks cheap, which it is. But <laughs> if I had my own swimsuit line, that's what I would do. But anyway, I like it a lot. This one is definitely more full coverage from the last swimsuit. And then these like kind of gold details are rather fun as well. This was a trend, I want to say a few years ago. This was really big. I feel like everybody and their mother had this swimsuit. It's fun, but I could definitely see like a more higher end version of this being more desirable, obviously. You know, for the price, it's like, how can you even complain? I totally get that. But nonetheless, I did get this in a large as well. Large is just kind of like my go-to size for swimsuits, especially when you can't pick the top or bottom size. I'd say it used to be medium, but now I'm definitely a large in the top. So never mind on that. Just large overall fits really good. Probably rate it like an eight out of 10 though. It's just like not up my alley. I have yet to wear it, obviously. I really like, summer is almost over. It's August 13th and I haven't even been swimming this year. I do go up to my cabin next weekend, thankfully. I'm looking forward to that. So, but anyway, I just feel like I haven't done like my summer activities and I'm like bummed about it because Minnesota, summer ends in August. Like it starts to get rather chilly in September. Definitely some warm days there, but like by October, September, October, <laughs> by October, you're done for. All right guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know to continue to make more. Let me know what your favorite outfit was down below. I'm gonna have to say mine was the Outcast clothing outfit. It's to die for, rather revealing, but it's so much fun for like a party night. I hope I get somewhere to wear it soon. But again, thanks so much for watching you guys and I'll see you in my next video.